Apex Entertainment is a great place for some family fun. From bowling lanes to arcade games to go-karts, this place has it all. Apex Entertainment is home to a bunch of other businesses in the upper levels. Make sure to check out Breakout, Half Axe, Altitude Trampoline Park, and others. There's plenty to do here, and it's a great place for the whole family. Trombetta's Farm is a family-owned business that has served Marlboro since the 1970s. Here you can enjoy their homemade ice cream and play a round of mini golf built in their old greenhouse. Then, take a peek at the back room, an antique store located near Trombetta's Garden Center in the back. If you are one for history, I suggest visiting Wayside Country Store. This old building was moved to its present location in 1928 by Henry Ford. Here, you can look at the old fixtures, such as the wood stove in the middle of the general store. Then, get some old-fashioned penny candy from their candy store. Speaking of history, Marlboro's Historical Society put in place the first walking museum in Massachusetts that takes you around Marlboro to learn more about it. Starting at the Public Library, the 24 informational panels will take you through pieces of Marlboro history around East Main and Maple Street in a 1.6 mile loop. The Assabet River Rail Trail is a partially completed multi-use rail trail. The 5.1 mile portion in Marlboro goes through Marlboro into Hudson. The entire rail trail is slated to be 12.5 miles long and connect five old mill towns. Looking for a place to cool off? Memorial Beach is just the thing for you. Free to Marlboro residents, this beach has a park and a basketball court. There is a lifeguard on duty during the hours of operation, as well as free-to-use charcoal grills available to beachgoers. Swimming lessons are also available for kids to take. Cool off with the multiple splash pad locations in Marlboro. Both Galoni and Stevens Park have their pads open to the public for the season and are great for children to cool off in the hot summer weather. Both locations are open 10 to 5. On Thursday nights, the Marlboro Recreation Department organizes concerts during the months of June through August. These concerts feature local bands and are completely free to go to. Each week of the summer, different genres of music are played and there is always something for everyone. This year, some of Marlboro's local breweries will be featured. This year, the Lost Shoe Brewery has brought back the farmer's market that was lost due to the pandemic. It will be happening every Saturday until September 3rd. Here, you can buy from local farms and artisans. Updates and pictures can be found on the Marlboro Farmers Market Facebook page. Want to show your Marlboro spirit? Go watch Marlboro's semi-professional football league, the Shamrocks. You can show your support by watching the game in person at Kelleher Field on Saturday nights. 